What's going on guys, welcome back. Next Gen Madden 15 video. Please do me a favor, hit the like button for me, subscribe if you aren't already. Criticism in the comment section as always. We're over to Twitter, give me a follow. My username is Shutdown Safety. Online gameplay, myself, BB Resurrect, playing it for you at speed. I want to talk about a number of things in this play, but majority of it is scripted gameplay. Animation sequences meaning more than X's and O's, and no more prevalent on this run for so little reasons. And first thing we're going to take a look at, Robert Mathis, obviously one of the best linebackers in the game, and just his inability to understand and play football. You know, you see he comes off here, obviously he's reading the play as a run, he's reacting to the run, and I love the fact that there's, you know, that read and react capability here, but you have to have some type of intelligence behind it. You have to have some type of player avoidance. You know, I can't see that and then have him just run into Staley and Thomas, and now he can't get through. I mean, it really eliminates the point of him reading and reacting to play if he can't do anything once he's assessed it. Now, the real important thing that I want to talk about here is everything that happens in this vicinity. There's so much shifting and so much warping. I really just cannot stand it. It's so unnecessary. Let football play out. Why does everything have to be in an animation sequence? Take a look up at the top of your screen. Davis and Davis, ironically, are going to shift off Corey Redding so that 76 Davis can go block Jarrell Freeman. And up here, watch this hole get cleared out by Mikey Potty only because he's getting shifted back and into my linebacker. Just take a look at how this looks. To me, okay, he's over pursued. Give my linebacker an opportunity to kind of bull rush underneath him or something. Don't shift my linebacker and the, and the lineman back so that the hole can be created. And if you're gonna do that, why in the world would you go over on the other side of this play and do the exact opposite? As Gore squeezes through, Walden gets released from the tight end. And then here's the worst part of this. Walden goes into this animation. This animation should never be in the game. I want you to just notice right now we're at the 45-yard line. As the animation starts, no one can affect this. Not Delano Howe. Not Leron Landry. This is a five, six-yard animation for a tackle. Why is that in the game? Why is it when I'm watching this tackle pan out, can my defensive players in the vicinity of these two not only not interact with it, but they give up. Watch how he's running full speed. The animation starts now. Watch. Look at the baby steps all of a sudden. Because the game registers animation. You can't interact with it. So your defensive back can stand here and watch your linebacker struggle with Frank Gore another three yards off the field. Oh, your free agent signing from two years ago. One of the hardest hitting safeties in the league, Leron Landry. He's going to run full speed toward the play. But as soon as that animation starts, he's going to let up and start to walk toward it because he can't have any interactions with it, even as they fall at his feet. Love to know your guys' impressions on this. Appreciate you taking the time to check out the video, and you know I'll be back in the week with more content. And just to show you, he gets bumped into by him.